Well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. Today, I just got done stocking up on stuff for the live stream, and a rival posse has begun some sort of mission. And it is our goal right now to counter said mission and steal whatever he's trying to do. There's a lot of gunshots over here, so I do have a feeling that um, things are going awry over here. Oh, there he is. There we go. And now we get to take over the mission and basically get the rewards instead. I don't want to pick up the body. I picked up the mailbag. There we go. All right, and now we need to deliver it to the recipient. Oh God, he's back. There we go. Now we got to deliver it to the recipient. So it's a little bit uh, dirty how that works, that you can take over somebody else's mission. But it's definitely an interesting concept, and I wish I could whistle my horse, but I can't seem to for some reason. There we go. And we do have our persistent posse made. Dynamite Enema has made it into Red Dead Redemption 2 online. And we've got one, a couple of our posse members with us today, and we'll be doing live streams with the posses. So just keep that in mind. I don't know why this person doesn't have their horse with them, but I'm taking over the mission and we're going to go deliver this mailbag. Now, pretty much any mission you do from these strangers can be basically taken over and you can get the rewards for it. So it's pretty interesting, although I don't know. I've never done this before. I've only done it regularly, so I'm curious to see if the rewards are better or exactly the same because it really doesn't make sense to take it over unless you really just feel like screwing other people over. But I wanted to mess around with it and see what's what. But it definitely adds a little bit of tension when you're doing this yourself because you never know when another player is going to come around the corner and just ruin your mission and take, take the rewards that were supposed to be yours. All right, so we are here, and this must be the final one. Hello. So let's turn this mail in here. Let's see what... Uh, I think we get like 40 cents for this or something like that. Hey, Nothing thanks. too crazy. Mail stolen. We have, Oh, we made five bucks for that. Damn, 292 XP. So I think the best way to take over missions, if you're going to take over a mission, is just before you complete it. Because if you complete it, you seem... It's, it's a lot better if you just finish it off there at the end. We got $5. I don't know if you know this or not, but $5 online is a lot of freaking money for, I mean, that amount of time spent on it. Um, but we're going to mess around today doing these stranger missions and um, seeing if we can do more stuff like that. So we'll probably get attacked and we're going to be taking over other people's missions as well. So we've got a stranger danger mission right here. And I haven't done it yet, but we gotta go inside and see what's what. Um, What are you, under the house or something? Where the, where the hell is he? I guess we can only maybe go through the front door. Now, one of the bad things about online mode... Oh. Right Cutscene there. right away. You looking for work? Or you come to kill me? Listen, kidnapping ain't nothing nice. We all know that. But Nora's talking lies about business associates. That ain't nice neither. I'm an honest-to-goodness businessman. Well, I would be if I could just get ahead. Listen. Sounds about right. Situation, it'll help me get ahead, and it'll help you as they'll pay you. This fella right here, Jackson James. He'll be on a stagecoach coming from San Denis. Take him. And if he's traveling with anyone, take them too. You'll earn a bunch of money. Hey. And it might calm him down a little and teach him some manners. I do love me some money. Good. That's what I like to see. So apparently, the sound of that means we need to take them alive. Ambush the stage no the stagecoach and kidnap the targets. Nice. So we got our posse here. I believe this is uh, Indigo is here with us. And we got a kidnap... This is probably going to be three people, I imagine. Usually there's two guards on a stagecoach so far when I've done these stranger missions. So we'll see what happens. And obviously, 
we stand a good chance of being ambushed because I did just take over somebody else's mission and they're probably out on a little bit of a vendetta. At least I wouldn't be surprised and I know I would be if that happened to me. But I had to experiment. I don't like, I've got, look, I've got maximum honor. Well, I had maximum honor until I killed that person a few times. So you can see, I've been a good outlaw, I guess. All right, so we got, oh my God, that's a lot of people. Stop the stagecoach. All right, well, let's see what happens here. Can we just walk in front of it? Oh, damn. We, oh, Jesus. All right, so one of these guys we need to kill. That guy we need to kill, he's dead. Now we need to stop the stagecoach. And then we need to take the people that are inside. That's right. Get out of here, buddy. Ooh, my life. <laughs> I need to heal myself. Oh my god, I took way more damage from that than I wanted to. But we got three people to take it to take out. Now, the question is, do we have to get them all? Oh, crap. I haven't had a witness to anything in the game so far. I have no idea what's going to happen with that. We have 12 minutes to get all these guys. Are we going to actually get a bounty? I haven't seen anybody get a bounty in the game so far. Jackson James. Deliver the, uh, the target and drop off. Interesting. There's only... There's one guy right there. He's just kind of chilling. So, I'm going to... Hog, or he looks like he's hogtied already. Oh crap, I am. Are the cops coming? I wonder if this means wanted outlaw. Oh crap. Oh yeah, shit's going down. All the cops are here. Whoa, that's the first time. I have no idea what's going to happen here. I know I'm about to hit a tree. That's for sure. Gotta shoot him in the butthole, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just letting my horse do its do its own thing. Wanted dead or alive? Damn, I wonder if that means people are gonna be able to like punch on my bounty now. Well, that's gone horribly, horribly awry. Alrighty then. I let's see here. We need to eat some food to recover our core. Um, no, I'm gonna save that meat. I've been doing a lot of cooking. There's a lot of, like, basically just grinding that needs to be done. But I wonder if this wanted will go away once we're out of the circle. That's interesting. I haven't gotten a bounty yet. I was curious to see what happens because you can't, like, rob towns. You can't rob NPCs anymore. So I was really, oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. I had no idea what was going to happen if we did actually do something to piss off the cops. And I'm really hoping that they allow you to be able to rob businesses and NPCs again, because the world kind of feels empty right now. There's like a lot of online stuff to do, but the world that I enjoyed in Red Dead Redemption, you know, just the single player, isn't really here. Like there's no reason to explore anything because there's no items in any of the houses. And I'm really hoping this is all just in an effort to get servers stable. And then they'll add more things because it all takes processing power on the servers. So I'm really hoping that it's just because it's the beta and then they'll flesh out and add more things like being able to rob NPCs and actually having items in houses and stuff like that. Cause everything is just empty everywhere. And it, it makes this, this massive world feel a lot emptier than how it was in single player and I really hope that changes. We just gotta drop this guy off. I think we're good. Well this is interesting. Like we're dropping him off at like some little feed processing area. <laughs> Are they gonna be like, like buried in a silo or something? Drop the targets off. Alright. Merry Christmas. You can have him. Can I jump onto my horse from here? Jump, you fool! 44 cents for that. We should get a lot of XP and money when we finish, though. And you don't get the maximum amount unless you get all the targets. So it's interesting that there isn't any form of bounty system right now. And I, and I also think Somebody that is in an effort to, you know, get servers stabilized first. 
But all in all, the online mode is pretty good, and just where it's at now, knowing that most likely all of these things that I'm complaining about are going to be put into the game at some point in time, means that this online is, experience is probably going to be quite amazing. Let's hope we make a lot of money from this, because I did have to kill a bunch of cops, and I don't have maximum honor anymore. Give me my money. Oh, yeah. Coach holdup passed. All targets kidnapped. Give me my money. What do we get, baby? 0.3 gold bars. $6.46. 381 XP. Can't hate about that. That was, that was pretty good. Slowly making the money. I need $100 so that way I can buy another horse stable and steal and sell horses. And we got unopened parcels. That's just... Or, you know, posses and the potentiality for being countered also is kind of stressful. I'll tell you what, my horse just ran its heart out, getting all the way down to Thieves Landing. Now, what's cool about these stranger missions is once you meet them, you can actually see what they'll give you. So we went down to Shaky down here in Thieves Landing, and he will give us jail breakouts, robberies, and assassinations, which sounds sounds like a lot of fun. And so that's what I'm going to do today. It's obviously those are some negative honor missions, uh, but then we have like recovery jobs, resupply, ex escort and deliveries. But I haven't done any of these yet. I would like to do a jail breakout and see how that is, especially if the money is good. I'm really curious to see which type of these missions uh, give the most money so I can make somewhat of a money guide. But also, if you haven't been to a fence in Red Dead Redemption 2 online yet and you have a PS4, Make sure to go to it because you can get a free weapon from the fence if you're on the PlayStation 4. Now, um, if I could get to my horse, I can show you. There we go. The High Rollers Revolver is the weapon you can get for free, which is a double action revolver. Unfortunately, it's not customizable, but it is a pretty good weapon that you can't get typically until a much higher level. So just keep that in mind. And it's free, so you might as well grab it. And it's a unique weapon. Now, how do we get to this here a thief? I believe he's on the dock over there, so let's go ahead and jump over this. Now, I do like all the hideouts that you can raid and stuff like that, but the world does feel a little bit emptier without being able to freely explore and loot and stuff. So, oh, we're going to find out if we can swim. Woo, baby. No, we're not. I haven't, I haven't tested it yet. I'm pretty sure we can swim because we're not terrible like John, but regardless, I'm genuinely curious to see what we get yeah oh yes it's a jail breakout let's do it i don't know if you noticed but there's a new gang in town these del lobos they're taking over thieves landing they're in i'm out i need all the allies i can muster so it doesn't help when one of them gets himself a pair of iron bracelets no it don't from the bounty hunters? I got you, Shaky. They're bringing him up to the sheriff in black. Go quick, please. He ain't much good to be dead. All right, rescue the prisoner from the wagon. Nice. I've been curious about these, and let's see what happens here. Now, how far away is this? Come on, Captain Horseface. What do we got going on here? What? Okay. So it's coming this way. Oh, no. Oh, damn. That thing's way far away. We do not have a lot of time. We caught up to this really quick. So I could die. I don't think I can actually dynamite it. Prison transport. <laughs> Keep clear. Damn Blackwater beeps. A little bit farther away than I wanted to be now. The struggle is for realsies today. There we go. Oh, shit. No, sir. No witnesses, please. Oh, we're wanted dead or alive anyways. Okay. We got to do this before the coppers get here. Ah, there goes the hat, buddy. All right, we got to escort the prisoner now. Oh, that's a lot of coppers. All right, shot him in the chest. Nice. Horse! 
I need you back here, buddy. Lead them or drop them off. Can you get on the horse, please? There we go. Come on, buddy. Get your ass on this horse. Thanks. The law is searching. I think what I'm going to do is maybe just hide for a second. Uh, escape the law. Now we can have... to stay away from me now. I got you, buddy. Don't you worry your pretty little face. And so it looks like we're pretty good. I have no idea if there's anything like time constraints for the... Well, obviously we have to get them there before the allotted amount of time, but I don't know if we can make more money if we do it quicker. I haven't seen anything like that yet. Um, so we got the, the bounty... Or there aren't... There is no bounties yet, which would make doing things like this a lot more interesting because right now there's really no reason to be good or bad. It's, it's pretty much all just exactly the same. Um, and there's really no repercussions from doing anything bad. And I have a feeling the bounty system will be in place in the future. Right now, there's just like... You have, you have no concern for doing anything bad because... Oh, we got peeps coming in. Hall. Oh. Hey there, copper. Please don't hit a tree. Woo, baby. I haven't hit it. No, I'm not going to jinx it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. We are wanted dead or alive once again. We've been avoiding trees. That's all I'll say. It's interesting that the circle is following us right now. That doesn't typically happen. I'm wondering if maybe I might be screwed now, or at least until I complete this mission. All right, how much money we get for this bad boy? Early release. I liked that. That was fun. Come on, baby. Give me all the money. 0.2 gold bars, $4.31. 272 XP. So not as much money as the last one, but it was a lot quicker to do. Ooh, dispatch rider event. Here... I've been trying to figure out how to find treasure maps, and I know I got one when I hit level 10, uh, but there's an achievement for opening like like 84 treasures found from treasure maps, and you can't get all of those just from, you know, like, uh, from like ranking rewards. So I'm thinking maybe there's a chance of getting them from hideouts. Now, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of people here. This is a rather large hideout. And unfortunately, I don't have anything to kill anybody quietly other than this little knife here. Is this guy, like, sleeping? What is he doing? Oh, he's drinking. What a horrible guard. I would like... What the... Kill him! Kill him! Why ain't this weird? Okay, well, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, this is like... Oh, damn, this thing is on fire behind me. This has turned into a disaster of epic proportions really quick. All right, we're going to take out the shotgun. We only have six shotgun shells left. Oh, these are damn O'Driscolls. Oh, my God. Well, that went horribly. That's like the first time I've died online other than like in a, you know, like one of the versus modes. Probably should have hid or like gotten into cover or something. That was interesting. There you go. You got no brain. Now I'm hoping the leader has a treasure map or something. I'm thinking it's just like a small chance to get a treasure map. Or maybe there's like a hidden spot somewhere in here that's got one. But there's got to be a way to get them. Or they might not be in the beta yet. Because it is the very beginning of the beta. They may very well be some things that just aren't included yet. Oh, they've got a Gatling gun up there. No wonder I died. Damn, dude. That's cool. That's the first time I've encountered anything with that kind of weaponry. I was wondering who was, like, hailing bullets in on me. Yeah, you show your face. I dare you. I'll throw dynamite up there. Don't threaten me with a good time. I like blowing shit up. I feel like this is a good use of my last stick of dynamite. Okay. 
<laughs> it was the worst use of my last stick of dynamite. Excuse me, coming in. On the defensive. I'm guessing he's up top. Oh, the leader has surrendered. Hold L2 to target the leader and press square if you want to spare him. Killing the leader will give negative honor. Interesting. I haven't had that as an option yet. Look here. You spare me, you won't have cause to look back. <sighs> I feel like he might have like a treasure map, and that's why he wants to be spared. I just make tracks, huh? No. I don't mind the negative honor right now. He shouldn't have tried to kill me. And then just surrendered. I shouldn't get negative honor for that. Alright, so no treasure map. But I am going to basically loot everybody here and see if maybe there's some secrets. Oh, what's this? Open lockbox? This is the first lockbox I've found. Are you kidding me? It's empty. That's from the, from the story mode or basically from single player. That's unfortunate. I got really excited when I saw this chest in the tent and then it's not even openable. I'm hoping they add more things to like these hideouts. Because right now, it feels like every other game. There's really no reason to explore a hideout or any of these campsites beyond just killing everybody. And that's that's kind of disappointing. It takes away from what makes Red Dead Redemption 2 different than every other game. Although, I have found some shotgun shells, some chewing tobacco. This camp has been a little bit better than the rest. Um, but it's open can of chewing tobacco. But most camps... Or most hideouts. I think this one's a little bit better because it had a freaking Gatling gun on it. I don't know if that's the appropriate name for it, so... Don't freak out, gun enthusiast. Hold on to your panties. Everything is fine. But... That's all I've been able to find. Mostly just open tonics. Any chest that I've found has either been empty or you can't open. But I do assume... I, I can only assume that it's because it's the open beta and we'll probably be getting a ton more stuff once the official, you know, Red Dead Redemption Online is fully released, which makes complete sense because they don't want everybody to experience everything the game has to offer in its beta form. But anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. We got to free a prisoner, take down a hideout, uh, take over somebody else's mission. It was a lot of fun. I am thoroughly enjoying Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. Despite any grievances I may have, it is a beta after all, and I have... The utmost confidence that any concern that I have is probably going to be remedied by the time it's fully released. I don't know why I tried to shoot that one. You need to lasso elk for perfect elks, and that wasn't even a perfect elk. I'm just shooting things as I say goodbye. Anyways, I will see you all in the next one.